We're back, we're racing, and this is the British Grand Prix that never was. This is the VFL 50% a league race. As you can see, we qualified on the medium compound. The tyres not too shabby up in P8. But we're going to get started for this Grand Prix that never was. Five red lights. And away we go for the British Grand Prix that never was. And it's um, an average start, I would say. We're going to get alongside um, Shui here. Apologise for the pronunciation. We're going to hold it steady there. He's up the inside still, so we've got to be extra careful into two. Going into three, we're going to break nice and deep. Uh, we've got Alfredo on the outside of us there. And we're going to have to concede that position if we're going to carry on. He's just touched the back of the car in front. We've had to scrub some speed off. We didn't want to make contact there. And uh, we've still got Sinister now up the inside of us. We're going to have to go wide. That's cost us uh, exceeding track limits warning there. But remember, three of them do get a penalty. So we're in lap, uh, sorry, position eight on lap one. And uh, yeah, just holding station at this point in the race. We can see Alfredo on the inside. We're going to get try and get a good run out of this corner. Down the old pit straight here. And uh, yeah, just try and get to the slipstream. We've still got a lot of battery here, so we're going to try and make advantage in this opening lap. It's really going to pay good um, stead in the later phases if we do this. So as you can see, he's got a bit of a poor exit there. goes out wide. We've got a good speed overlay here, so we're going to go up alongside him. And who's got the bigger balls? He's going to hit us on the inside. And that's a contact with Alfredo there, contact with Alfredo. He's gone spinning round, I assume. And um, yeah, unlucky there, Alfredo. Maybe you should have uh, conceded the position, retired from the session. Unlucky, that was a racing incident, I would say. So we've got BSC deployed on the end of lap one. We've got Dan in front of us. And uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting here. A long race to go, 26 laps of this Grand Prix. And it's a pretty long uh, lap as well. So. Um, BSC, everything held station. We're getting ready to go racing again in a minute. And uh, what's it gonna bring? On lap two here, safety car is ended. We've got a car right up behind us that's broke. It's put some pressure on us, but we get a pretty good uh, restart. And into lap two, we're gonna return to racing speed at this point. So trying to get a nice exit out of here again, get on the power nice and early. Uh, hesitated a little bit there, but we're coming up to our strongest corners, this real high speed uh, section. I really love it around uh, this track, that's what makes it one of my favourite circuits to, to play this game on. You can really get some good overtaking in different lines, etc., and uh, make it work for you. So, on to lap three here, we're up into P5, uh, doing pretty well, happy with this so far. And we're gonna go nice and deep here, we've got Carl right up our gearbox, he's in that DRS. We've got a car running wide, that's Dan, he's taking the position from Immortal. We're going to try and get out the inside ourselves, he covers off the line. Good defensive racing there from Immortal. We're going to get a run back at him again by the look of this. Going into our favourite part of the track. Coming in here, just scrub a little bit of speed off, hit the apex, get the power down as soon as you dare. And just don't let off that foot. Coming up into this high speed, you want to stab the brakes, get the front end in here. Get some grip, get some load, and again through here, and then uh, oh yeah, just drop a gear. Hold, try and hold it through six, ideally through this corner. You can see run wide, and then we're going to get a auto there. Smooth operation. Auto goes off, and uh, that's a position gain for us. We're up to P4 and in this Grand Prix on lap three, so a pretty good start for us so far. Happy days, and let's uh, try and get onto the podium now. That's the next step. So yeah, moving on into lap five, uh, we've got safety car deployed. Safety car is deployed. Uh, we're still in um, position four. So what we're gonna do at this point, uh, we're thinking about boxing, of course, uh, putting on a hard tire. It is gonna cost us track position, but we're gonna gain it back in the later phases of this uh, Grand Prix. So box, 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 as uh, boxing under safety car is gonna save us considerable time. It's a very long pit stop as well here at Silverstone. So that's another factor in my uh, decision making. We've got a lot of cars in the pits. As you can see, we're going to put on a harder compound of tyre and we're going to go long deep into this race. So, not a real good start there, Alpha lads. It's uh, 3.9 seconds. Not too happy with that. Should be in the 2.9s, guys. We need to get some more practice in on the pit stops. Uh, so, where's it going to shake out? Where are we going to feed back into the Grand Prix? We're currently P8. Yeah, I think we're going to come out in P8 and uh, continue on, uh, on lap 6 of this Grand Prix. So, we're getting ready to go racing again uh, on the end of lap 7, approaching lap 8. And uh, when's the bolts going to happen? We're all sitting there waiting and it's gone now. It's gone green the racing. So we're underway once again for the British Grand Prix that never was going into lap eight. Uh, we're going to try and make up these position, positions once again. Cars ahead of us will have to pit and that will hinder them in the later phases of this Grand Prix. So uh, getting nice hitting the apex here. Trying to get good traction out the corners. That's what really matters on these harder tyres, for instance. And uh, yeah, getting in the toe. 
we've got the DRS uh, disabled at this point uh, but we've got it in hot lap on the ERS and we're going to go rich revs as well we're going to send it up the inside we feel more confident at this point in the Grand Prix but our tyres hooked up and we're just going to get checked a bit by the Ferrari there but we just managed to avoid contact and we're just going to hold our line get good traction out the corner and that's that position gain so we're up to P6 in the Grand Prix now and we're looking we're going to attack Viper at this point as well he looks unsteady on his medium compound tyres uh, so we're going to go nice into that corner there and uh, this is where you don't want to be too close to the back of someone because it will take off a bit of that uh, downforce effect uh, being in the dirty air of the car in front and uh, a lot of people going wide he's going to go wide as well he's going to get onto the grass and uh, that's an easy pass for us there we're moving up to p5 on lap 8 of this grand prix but we've got dad dad wants a piece of the action as well he's going to come up the inside here oh he's got some balls there boy he went for it he sent it he squeezed where there wasn't a gap up the inside so credit to you we're gonna have a look think better of it there and uh yeah we continue once we gained a position and lost one in the same straight there um <laughs> pretty good racing close racing dan and uh unlucky viper as well so moving into lap 10 we can see dan he's getting um he's uh getting his move on right now and he's gonna go up the inside um of the top machine and uh, yeah, good position gain there. Um, the top machine in Mercedes are suffering a bit under braking there. Um, moving on further in lap 10, you can see the Mercedes running wide, and uh, that's another position gain. I love this corner. It was gaining me so many positions, just getting it clean and right on every lap, and it was just paying its dues. So uh, into lap 10, we're up to P5. We've still got a Mercedes on the outside who fancies a bit, but we're going to cover the um, apex, and uh, that should be our position uh, from now. So we've got a car in the pits, car in the pits. Uh, that's going to gain us another position. Remember, we should be able to go to the end of the Grand Prix on this set of tyres. We're looking really good. We've got some cars ahead of us potentially as well, which still need to box. Uh, we're just about maintaining that gap and minimising the uh, impact when they come out on their pressure sets as well. <coughs> so into lap 14. We're currently P4. Really enjoying the flow of this circuit at this point. Got well, a pretty good setup on it. Loving it. And we're trying to catch Golden Egg Fry ahead of us. Um, so yeah, you, as you can see on lap 14, really enjoying the racing, going pretty well, just over the um, halfway mark at this point in the race. And um, yeah, we're coming under attack on the Mercedes once again. We're not too uh, concerned about him, we do have some pace within the car, if we need to turn it up, we can, but um, you're running good pace and just trying to keep it smooth and consistent at this point in the Grand Prix. So trying to catch Golden, Egg fry out. <coughs> what a game attack as well, I have to say. Uh, so on to lap 15. Uh, we've got the harder tyre on, he's got the medium ahead of us. Um, I don't know what his tyre wear is, if he's struggling at all, but um, we're feeling pretty good pace-wise in the car. Uh, the hard tyre is working pretty well around Silverstone. Um, so that's a, that's a good thing, it's just about not scrubbing the speed off, you know, sliding around in the high speed sections of this track, which is really going to cost you and get good traction out of the low speed as well. So into lap 15, with P4, and uh, we're doing pretty good in this Grand Prix at the minute. I would take this if it was the end of the race. That's why I said about 50% uh, points, guys, because <laughs> after that um, exceptional opening laps for myself, um, yeah, I wanted to grab it, of course, but uh, I understand running the race again. I suggest we race at the end of the season. So you can see coming into this high speed corner here, getting a nice line. We're gaining a bit through this, uh, this section here, getting a bit of toe as well. I'm going to go nice. Here, nice and easy not slide it around that's the key bit here boys keep it clean hold it in six gear there we're gonna gain an extra bit of speed around here and we're gonna put it up in the ERS as well really attack and as you can see people leaving the session the game is glitched we're out of there game over lad I hope you enjoyed the race uh, the race that never was we'll have a look at the restart of the second lobby in just a second which wasn't uh, any better but um, it was the servers, it was an Xbox wide issue uh, which affected all of the servers. Maybe someone tripped over a cable, I don't know what happened. Don't ask me, I'm not an expert on these things. Uh, so we're going to get into the second lobby. Uh, someone, some idiot again, pressed start straight away. Everyone's got to change their setup, put their right tyres on. <coughs> so not ideal. Um, don't press A guys, don't press A, okay? So let's uh, go for round two, let's give it another whirl, shall we? Try finishes. It's about half past 11 and it's lights out and it's uh, racing once more around the British Grand Prix that never was and uh, we've got gained some positions off the line this time. Uh, we're going to go up the inside of McLaren. We're going to stay to the outside. We know he's there and he can come straight across us. Bang! 
is awesome. So I think at this point everyone's getting a bit gung-ho, a bit tired, a bit fed up of this lobby and uh, we've just got punted out of the Grand Prix. So we dropped down to P12, we're going to box, there's a safety car on lap one and as you can see people are already leaving the session. The game has glitched once more, it's game over, we're going to have to call the chequered flag on the British Grand Prix, we're going to have to postpone it to a later date and um, yeah, pretty sure. Big shape, we were doing pretty well in the first lobby. You know, the GP1 lads, I think they did finish their Grand Prix. They got their lobby sorted quick, they launched it um, quick enough. We need to do that as well, guys. I suggest we try and get in about quarter to the hour, open the lobby, you know, get everyone in, and we launch at five past um, ten uh, sharpish uh, prompt uh, just to avoid tiredness, fatigue. Um, you know what I mean? All these uh, potential mishaps that can happen with the uh, servers. We know that scheduled maintenance normally happens on the hour, so it just might reduce that risk. So what do you know, think about the race? Let me know your thoughts in the um, comments below. Give us a like and don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to see uh, more Wii Racing videos and we'll join you again soon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.